Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to charge your mobile phone or any other devices of 5 volt using a 12 volt 7 h lead acid battery or any other battery of more than 5 volt. If you have missed the first part of this video, please go and watch it to understand how to restore a battery back in your life and to make a power supply more. First of all, I will show you how to make use of voltage regulator ICs for charging your mobile phone. This is L7805 voltage regulator IC. Okay, it has maximum input voltage of 25 voltage and 5 voltage output. That is a linear voltage. Okay, but the problem is it has only 1.5 ampere. This thing is recommended. For example, if the input voltage is 12 volt and we are consuming 1 ampere, then 12 minus 5 into 1 that is equal to 7 watt. The 7 watts will be dissipated as heat. Although L7805 regulator IC only outputs a small ampere that is 1.5 ampere, I am demonstrating how it works. So I am just keeping away syrup board and I am using Bradford for demonstration. First of all, we can see the pins of 7805 IC. Okay, first pin is supply pin. We want to supply our input here okay and the second pin is ground reference we want to ground reference in the second pin and the third pin it is output pin okay we will get the 5 volt output from this pin third pin i am just demonstrating the example so i think there is no need of heat sink okay let's keep it aside i am just fixing it on a breadboard okay you can see here This is the battery I have restored in the last video. I hope you all watched that video. If you have not watched that video, you can get the link from the description. First of all, we can check the voltage of the battery. Okay. I think some voltage is already drained out. I have used it up. We can see. I hope you can see. Now it's 8.89. Now we can see what what is the output voltage when using 7.05 IC. Okay. Some jumper wires for the connection. Okay. We can use a clamp here. Do not solder on the terminals of the battery. Okay. For demonstration purpose, I'm just up here negatives negative one on the ground of ground of the IC okay and the positive the first tip in okay I'm just going to the first tip in okay from the third pin we will get the output voltage that is 5 volt we should get 5 volt we can check it and negative have connected we make use of a multimeter for checking its voltage okay which is negative the center one is negative the other is positive okay yes we got nearly 5 volt you can make use of some zero board and a USB port for this circuit but I will not recommend these transistors for charging your mobile phone okay you can make use of an adapter OTG adapter either you can use this USB port or this micro USB connector either D type or C type you can use also you can make use of a USB cable Okay, I only need this part. 
so you can easily charge any mobile here okay i am printing this end okay. now i have just removed the sleeves of the wire okay now you can see this red one is positive and this black one is negative okay now we want to connect it in this way positive to positive and negative to negative of the battery that is through transistor uh, sorry IC okay but already I have told you this is not a good way to charge your mobile phone using a linear regulator IC so I am using LM2596 DC to DC step down buck converter okay you can just try it. okay Okay. This side it is input positive and negative, and here it is output positive and negative. Okay. Here we have a potentiometer. We can adjust the output voltage here. Okay. Now we can check how it works. I'm going to connect the output from the battery to this buck converts input. Okay. I'm making use of two crocodile clips and negative jack this no need of this you can directly connect it okay before connecting I want to solder the negative and positive of the wires to the buck converter okay you want to connect this positive here and negative here The wires are soldered. Okay, now we can connect it to the battery using a main wire connecting it to the battery. Okay, positive to positive. Not change the polarity. Okay. Negative to negative. Okay, you can see here the power light turned on. Okay, now we can check the output voltage using a multi. You can see it's 4.95596. Okay, now I am changing it using a potentiometer. Can I use a minus screw driver? Just changing it. I have adjusted the potentiometer to 5 voltage DC. You can check it. Okay, negative power to negative and positive power to positive. You can see it's 5.2 volt. Okay. Now I want to connect the wire, connect the cable to this side, that is out, output voltage, negative to negative, that is black wire to negative and positive wire to positive. Okay, I want to sort it in this way. Okay. Okay, now we have successfully soldered the output wire, okay, output cable, now we can connect a mobile phone to it. Let's check it. Okay. You can see it's charging. Okay. If you like this video, please subscribe.